Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's featured Nightfall, which is the Inverted Spire. It is a master. I'm doing it on the Hunter. All aspects, abilities, and fragments. You can see them right here. You can pause the video and go back and see exactly what I used. All mods will be shown. The weapons that I'm using, I decided to use New Purpose, which is the Pulse Rifle from Duality. Uh, Aisha's Embrace, which is the Trail Scout Rifle. And I decided to use the Hothead Adept Rocket Launcher. Now, you guys have probably seen in the thumbnail that this is a one, one floor boss kill, one phase boss kill. Those weapons are not dependent on that kill. So you can run, if you, if you want to run a different pulse rifle, a different scout rifle. I would suggest you run in a rocket launcher. The most important thing about this setup is an arc rocket launcher with clown cartridge. Because obviously what clown cartridge does is it will always reload your, your rocket with two rockets. So when, you, when it's empty, as long as you have two rockets available, it will reload two in the mag. It allows for a faster DPS on the boss. I have went with Star Rita Scales. I don't think there's uh, much that needs explained for that. Uh, if, if I produce orbs, which I am, with I've got a, a mod on my helmet, uh, Void Siphon. So uh, kills with a Void Weapon, or multi-kills with a Void Weapon, will produce an orb of light. So, what I've decided to do here is just, you know, uh, cut out the middleman here, and I've just taken out the Cabal straight away. Because what normally happens is you go down here, you take out the Vex, and then the Cabal come. So I decided to negate that and just take them out straight away. So, but a whole bunch of Vex here. I've just bro broke the, the, the lead, or the... the, the the Void Shielded Vex Minotaur's Shield and then just put a rocket on. Ammo consumption with, with, with heavies. That's why I think <laughs> everyone else used Storm Chaser. Because it's an ammo consum consumption thing. But Storm Chaser's not so great for this. Because the three burst makes it hard to consistently crit. Now it's not impossible, obviously you can do it. But... I've took out the middleman again. My rocket doesn't need to crit to do the big damage. Now, some people might say, well, I'll have the Adept. Again, the most important thing is clown cartridge. Impact casing, tracking, that's exactly what I'm using. Now, I went with the Adept because when you put Adept uh, big ones on, what that does is it, it, it means I don't have to choose between doing boss damage, bigger boss damage, which is not, it's not actually that much more. Bigger boss damage or that uh, transferring that damage to the champions. Because the big, big ones does Vorpal and boss together. That idea. So it's not actually much more damage. 8 to 10% max. I'm just... Now I can do it against champions and the boss at the same time. If you want to get the one phase, put boss back on. Just kind of... You know, forego the, 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 the additional 8% damage against champions or whatever it is. So what I'm doing here, you'll see sometimes I'll fire with the scout rifle, I'll hold off, and then I'll fire again. That's that's because there's a cooldown on Void Siphon. So I'm giving it a chance to uh to to reproc me getting uh at orbs on void kills. Now another thing I because Right, so I actually done this run. This is the second run I done with this setup. The first run, I completed it, and it and it was a good run. But uh, what what I noticed was, I wasn't really focusing so much on getting void kills, so I never had a lot of uh, feast of light. And it happened again on this one. I think I don't think I've got eight. I think I've got, if anything, I, th I think I'm rolling with six at the boss. And you'll see it makes no difference. The most important thing, another thing, which would have been in the setup, is have Marksman's Dodge on. So that when you dodge, you reload your weapon. That's quite important because it allows higher DPS at the boss. So when I come in here, what I what I do is, there's a solar VIP kind of guy. He's not, I don't, I don't even know what he's still doing in this strike, but... He's still here, this the, the the blood guard. I take him first because if you don't, 
If you don't take him first, when you go after the barrier that's below, he'll start shooting at you sometimes, and it's just... It's just annoying. Uh, so I take I take the Blood Guard. If you don't have solar, or like me, you're relying on your solar subclass, there's an exploding box that you can shoot, which will take your shield down. Or you can just... My, my, my new purpose has... Uh, has adaptive munitions, which is why I'm using it. You can you can either use an adaptive munitions pulse like I'm using, or an adaptive munitions scout rifle. There are a few good void scout rifles. You can you know, I think there's one you can get with adaptive munitions, or you can wait for the champion snipers that we've just took down. You can wait for them to take his shield down because they do solo and they will break his shield. Once I've took them down, then I come down and start uh, working on the smaller ads. We'll obviously still want to pick up orbs and create orbs. I don't really create a ton. Uh, I create enough though to get to get the enough feast of light to be able to do that big damage. So you see there, I, I spoke about ammo consumption. The rocket can be a little bit uh, a little bit uh, ammo thirsty, but that's just the nature of using a rocket launcher. It's the same as the the Titan run that I done. The, the way I, I I used uh, weapons that I normally wouldn't use simply because, and I think I spoke about this in the Titan run. Right after reset, like ten minutes after reset, I done my Titan run, and then you know I spoke about it more in the Titan run. Went to sleep, woke up, a couple of people had done runs, so I was like, oh, I wonder what they used, and everybody used the same thing, me included. So. If those runs hadn't come out where everybody was using a storm chaser, I possibly wouldn't have done this run. So it just goes to show sometimes it's worth hanging off. Uh, but again, storm chasers, it, I don't think it's great for this because of the, the 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 crit damage. But having said that, I am in no way, shape, fashion, or form saying storm chaser is not a DPS beast because it is. I just well, I think I've shown here. Rockets are just as good. The machine gun that I used was just as good. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with at the end of the day is what you should use, not what you've seen other people use. Because, man, it took them 15 runs. <laughs> it's not going to take anybody 15 runs to do this nightfall. You guys are going to get this no problem. And, and as you can see, a rocket launcher has been in the game. Probably doesn't get the usage that it used to. Uh is one phase in a master a master night, nightfall boss. Not that that's like a, a major massive accomplishment, but it does go to show that there are weapons out there that maybe we're not using that can still do the business. Maybe better than, you know, what what is considered meta. So we, we've got three champions here. I took that unstoppable from up top, basically because I had a brick of heavy. So, you know, why leave that there when I can use when I can use it and uh, and then walk away with full heavy again the, the new purpose this, this scout, this pulse rifle <clears throat> I like it, I really do it feels very very smooth to use uh, if I was if I was going to have a complaint which I'm, I, I don't really want to complain but if I was to have any constructive criticism, all it would be is I'm kind of starting to be done a little bit with all, you know, the majority of the new weapons, save save for the Leviathan weapons. But a lot of the new weapons coming in being stasis primary. You know, there's a lot of stasis primary, which for, for, in some instances, the game doesn't actually count them towards primary weapon, whatever it might be, you know. I'm pretty sure, although don't quote me, it's just something that I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that, ha that happens to me. I'm pretty sure if you go kinetic weapons, now they are kinetic, but they, if you get double kills with those weapons, it won't count as kinetic. You, you do have to put on stasis, so it still is an element, but it's a, it's a primary element. Kind of weird. But, uh, so yeah, I, I that's why I used that rocket and took that unstoppable. When I come down to this area, once I've took the two champions and I make my way down here, I take the two snipers first. You can see I've backed away to the, like the edge of this kind of bunker, this crater. If I move up 
the barrier will spawn. So I'm I'm very tentative about moving up. The minute I start shooting here, I'm pretty sure he appears. But even if I stay quite back, quite far back, maybe like if I'm staying here, I'm still cool. And then pretty soon, yep, pretty soon he will he will come. So what I'll do is straight away, I'll just stick a rocket on him. Now you will see as well, I'm it, it, it's it's six and a half a dozen whether it happens half the time. But I do have Revitalize and Blast on my, my class item. There you can see him kind of... It's like a void explosion that wells up in his chest. That's basically what Revitalize and Blast does. Every time you stop a champion, you cause the champion to explode, which does about between 10 and 20% of his health. Probably probably closer to 10, but it's still it's 10% of his health that you don't have to shoot. Because, it's, you know, just for stopping them, you're going to do that big damage. So, now what we're looking for is there's two Arc Shield of Blood uh, guards in here. One on each side. There you go. There's one. So, I'm just going to fire a rocket through that little gap. It means... I don't mind if I've got to face them up. But it's... it's I'm sure you guys will be aware. Much easier if you don't have to stand in front of those guys. Because they do big arc damage. So... So I've got some heavy lying on the floor. A little tip about heavy: don't always pick it up straight away, because you can you ne you never know how much heavy you're gonna get from a brick. So, you know, sometimes you'll get two. Sometimes well, I could only get two there, but sometimes you'll only get two. Sometimes you've got four. Now, this is something I do every time. I stop that incendiary, that unstoppable up there. Because this is where Revitalize and Blast really comes into play. If I stop the champion up there, the explosion kills everything else around him. So, again, it's just efficiency. So, we're going to make it down here. Just throw my, my blades. Now, a great thing, it's one of the fragments I've got on. And you'll see me... I, I'm not sure if I do it too much in this run, but it's something I normally do. Which is... I'll just stop him. I'm ready to stop him straight away. Rocket on him. Just get rid of him quickly. Uh, the minute I stop, I, the minute I use my thorn knives, or the minute, sorry, the minute I use my dodge to get my health back, because we've got obviously classy restoration on. What I do is I try and hit something with my thorn knives, because I get about sixty percent of my dodge back straight away. So I don't have my thorn knives. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving between these champions, but. These uh, gladiators, because the champion on the right hand side, he can't do it. Well, he's on the left of me now. He can't hit me because I'm constantly attacking from these these gladiators from cover. I'm moving. It's not so much about the jumping left and right. It's making sure I'm getting behind these blast barricades. And there we go. You see that revitalizing blast? Run up to him. No, nope, I'm not going to finish you. I am. I am going to petulantly shoot you in the face while I'm standing right in front of you with it. The hip fired pulse rifle. So, when this champion, this unstoppable, comes down, I hit him straight away. Now, that doesn't stop him, but what it does do is revitalize and blast. It's a uh, revitalize and blast clears the two enemies that came in with him. Now, this is something, this is more. If if I dis, if I do this on GM, which I probably will solo this one, there'll be a couple that I'll be like, well, they're pretty simple. I'll just knock them out. Anybody that knows anything about the channel knows I get bored with solo and GMs because the channel exists to show you guys strategies on how to do stuff. And solo and GMs isn't always everybody's cup of tea. So there's just for my content, I'm, I don't make content that look at me content. I don't even like that sort of content, and I don't like people that make it. Uh, it's cool to be entertaining, but eh, how many times have you watched a video and thought, "Yeah, I'm never doing that"? I don't, I don't make con. I try not to make content that's like that. So this GM, that strategy of standing up on that blast barricade, that's a GM strategy. So that's that's probably the way I would do that. It just means you don't have to waste time and ammunition shooting all the dogs, and uh, it can be a pain in the backside as long as you take out the unstoppable. And then don't kill any dogs, then you'll you'll be golden. So we'll stop this uh, unstoppable, and then realize we haven't reloaded our rocket launcher. Rookie mistake there. 
So now we'll let him come a little bit closer. Once he's ten, he's he's tendrils. Those kind of uh, the hair that lights up on the you know most of the champions, the unstoppables and the the overload champions have got them. When it's when they're lit up, you can't restock them. So when once that they stop shining, you can stop them again. So we just backed away, waited for him to come up. Once 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 he was available, he stop stop and broke it, and then off. Now, we're almost at the boss, so the rest of this right here, just clear the enemies in front of you. I try and take all the little, kind of little red bar enemies and just leave myself with this boy, the Unstoppable, and that uh, Bloodguard and Cindir. I just leave my, try and leave myself with those two guys. Uh, as you can see there, I got the stop. But he never exploded. I think there's a little bit of a a delay with the with that. So you see there, we get him stopped. Sometimes if they're burning, you don't apply you don't apply any more to them. Now again, I think I said this already, but I'll repeat it. The the pulse rifle and the scout rifle on the, the you can mess about with them. You can mess about with the rocket launcher. You do not have to have the exact same things I'm using to get this one phase. Using Star Eater scales, producing orbs, making sure you've got some Feast of Light, and an Arc Rocket Launcher, preferably with a bit of tracking uh, and clone cartridge. Impact casing is good, that's what this one has on it. That, they are the main components. The Pulse Rifle and the Scout Rifle, because I know there'll be some people who might not have Aisha's Embrace, might not have New Purpose. You don't need those. You can use any Pulse Rifle, any Scout Rifle. I wait. Uh, because it's worked for me, I would always m suggest maybe avoid scout rifle and a primary pulse. But it it doesn't even have to be like that. You can you can mix and match. You could put there there is there are good void pulse rifles. You could you could switch and put hung jury on as a as a primary and you know. Anyway, point I'm making is don't sweat it if you don't have the exact weapons i do just make sure you've got that that rocket launcher whatever rocket launcher you've got make sure it's got as close to those two as possible so there's a couple of champions here uh so what we're going to do is just clear out some ads we're going to try and if i don't get which i don't think i do i don't get another orb here which means i'm going to be finishing this with six uh feast feast of light times six Let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing at the boss. It's going to go pretty quickly. Once the boss comes out, because we've got the fragment on where if we use our charged melee, it will apply Radiant. That is what we are wanting to do, is to apply Radiant so that we can... Everything we do after that gives us more damage. Right? So we're going to, we're going to throw a grenade. What we, there's three harpies. We'll kill the harpies, and once the harpies are gone... We'll put a grenade down for him to walk into. We're going to throw a throwing knife, pop with super, and then as soon as we pop with super, I'm going to hit him with a rocket. I'm not even going to wait to land. As soon as, as soon as it will let me fire it, I'm firing it. Now I'm going to dodge to reload. Clown cartridge is going to give me two rockets. Those two rockets are going to kill him. Everything needs to be done as quickly as possible. You know, now, efficiency, not recklessly quick you know i can see there i've got a rocket down there what i should have done and and it, it it actually never mattered in the end what i should have done is fired fired off a rocket safely to give myself the two so i could have reloaded to get two in the mag and then i'd have still had it you know full but not that we need it but as it stands i've got one in the mag at the moment so this is where the reason for bringing the new purpose uh the 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 thing about the new purpose the one i've got is adaptive munitions it means it will break through these shields now again just so that you guys know i could have fired a rocket right in between all of them broke all the shields reloaded to give me the two in the mag but again it it, it, it was neither here nor there what i'm trying to do here as I'm trying to use my void weapon to get another Feast of Light. There we go. So I've got Feast of Light times six. That's all we're going to need. So we'll just 
I'm going to break this guy's shield, and then because the last time, like, the reason I, I never got the one phase last time is because I wasn't, I don't think I was reloaded on my rocket, so I'm just checking, making sure. So we're going to break this boy's shield, and then, as, as I say, we're going to put a rocket down. So here we go. I'm going to put a grenade down. Here he comes. Just toss that grenade. As soon as he comes, throw and then super, and then rocket, dodge, rocket, rocket. And there's your one piece. Very simple. Uh, the, the main thing is making sure you've got that feast of light times, times six minimum. And you're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've appreciated this. I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. More than anything else, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. Uh, the hot head is obviously the weapon that's dropping this week, so... Happy days. Uh, good luck with your runs. Take it easy, guys. And I will see you all in the next video.